A group of researchers in Sydney has spent nearly two decades trying to find better treatments for people who suffer strokes, which happen in Australia every nine minutes. One of the horrible things about stroke is if it doesn't kill you, it actually leaves you with severe disability. And it's quality of life and, and, and also if you're talking economically as well, it's, it's a huge impact. The work here has led to the development of a drug that researchers say helps prevent the formation and break up dangerous blood clots without increasing the risk of bleeding. What people at the Heart Research Institute didn't realize is just how relevant their work would be during the global pandemic until doctors gained a better understanding of what takes place in seriously ill COVID-19 patients. And we all think of COVID as a respiratory and lung disease, but in fact the people who die from COVID, their lungs and many of the other organs that fail are filled with small clots. These clots prevent blood flow going to the organs. They're unhealthy clots, they're the bad clots that form. And that's where researchers believe the drug they've developed could prove most effective. And if we can stop the clotting process, we think we can turn COVID-19 from a really severe life-threatening disease into a severe respiratory disease, but it doesn't require ventilation, doesn't require the other emergency uh, medical uh, interventions that we, we perform. If we can do that, that would be a game changer and would have a huge impact not only on patients, the potential in the healthcare system around the world. Although the drug was developed and initially tested here in Australia, the next phase two trials will need to take place overseas because there aren't enough severely ill patients on ventilators in this country. At the moment, the biggest obstacle is manufacturing the drug on a broader scale. We just need the funding to actually make the drug to be able to put this into, into patients. At the very least, the work being done here highlights the need for more than one approach to the virus. We need to be thinking not just of killing the virus, but of preventing the clots from happening. And at the moment, we're not doing that as well as we should. Researchers say if all goes well, the drug could be made available to COVID-19 patients within the next few months. Greg Navarro, CGTN, Sydney.